Welcome to the Clue Crew! What is up? Good morning! Good morning! I hope you guys are doing good. Actually, I hope you're doing amazing. <laughs> As if... So let me tell y'all about my day yesterday. Some of y'all already know, some of you don't. I'm going to show you evidence, pictures, bring you some... Good gracious! Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. And I mean, the Betty blast, y'all. So, yesterday, literally right after, no bullshit, right after I got off this live, I always have to pee because I sit here for like three hours and I just hold my bladder, right? So, <laughs> immediately, fiance is like you need to call truth and tell him blah 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 and i'm like okay so i'm over at the uh what you call it the dresser over there and i'm calling him and i walk out into the house and i'm like you know he does that stupid crap where you gotta announce your calling like it's a fucking doorbell instead of a damn phone i don't know but you gotta say your name and shit so it rings and he finally answers <laughs> and like about the time he answers I get to the kitchen and y'all know our dog is pregnant which by the way since I have started this live I'm pretty sure she has actively just gone into labor <laughs> so anyway <laughs> like <laughs> I know and I was talking about how gracefully I fall which I even fell gracefully yesterday on God I didn't break my phone but <laughs> My finger and hand, however, is a different story. So I'm walking in to go to the bathroom. And of course, this pregnant ass dog has pissed right by the trash can, which we have a big metal trash can for the kitchen. I have to walk by it and I don't look down at the ground when I'm walking. You know what I mean? So I like got to the damn puddle of pee and truth is on the phone no lie he heard the whole thing like <laughs> he's such an asshole too he had no give a fuck about nothing he was like what was that he was like did betty's boob just fall out of her bra and i'm like laying there i'm not talking i'm literally like uh like my hand was hurting so bad and i have the highest pain tolerance i didn't even cry yesterday okay and when you see my x-rays you're gonna be like how in the actual fuck so today i don't try to make people think you didn't fall off the crane. I mean, maybe. So, this. <laughs> this is what I'm working with, okay? Can't type. Can't do my mouse with my right hand. Like, everything has gone to shit. And they tell me yesterday, they're like, so you got an appointment on Wednesday, and you're going to get a cast. And I'm like, I just opened my gosh darn pool. <laughs> and the lady is like, I mean... She said, you can go in and leave your arm on the side, put a trash bag on it. And I'm like, lady, you realize my tan is going to be uneven, right? <laughs> like, I'm pissed. But let me show y'all my x-rays because, of course, fiance and baby clue were in there. And they're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, and then she takes my finger and she's like, I'm going to try to do this without pulling. And I mean, I just felt like grinding i guess on my bones but fiance and baby clue they're both like because mm, they could hear it oh it's terrible and she's like so basically what happened i wound up breaking my finger my ring finger this one on this hand i broke it in two places and then down in my hand i broke that in two places and i dislocated my knuckle so it was because when i was on the phone with him and i fell the ring finger went the wrong way backwards and it touched the back of my hand and then I fell on that. So it was freaking ridiculous. This is my left hand. Okay, so this is regular hand. This is after she reset it, right? And then you can see there's a break right there. I don't know where the other one is, but that's the one... I think there might be two right there. One and two. 
So that's my regular hand after she reset it. But this <laughs> is how I went the fuck in that place. Look at my knuckle, y'all. Like that shit was bent like sideways and shit. It was terrible. I knew I heard it though. I'm trying to see if I can see. Yeah, so here's the two breaks down here. One, see that one right there? And two. <laughs> like, I fucked my hand up, dude. It was bad. Yeah, and this is the other view of that knuckle when it was <laughs> sit sideways. <laughs> oh, no shit. I... Oh, I can work this mouse with my... I didn't know that you could hit this button, the right button, to move it. Oh, we good. We are Gucci. So, yeah. That was that. Immediately after getting off the live, nice. I go in there and bust my ass. Poor fiance hadn't even... Oops. Come out there yet. But I guess he heard the heater oh wait it doesn't work like that okay he heard the heater and he, i guess when he came out there he saw my big ass laying on the ground and i had to do my makeup today with my left hand that does not work oh here i am all my imperfections right in front of the camera for you so let me tell y'all about our morning okay Y'all, I saw somebody say I tripped over the dog. I didn't. <laughs> I assure you, no dogs were harmed in the injury of my hand, okay? None at all. Didn't trip over the dog. As y'all know, our female Shih Tzu has been pregnant. Oh, and I, Southern Gal, thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, yeah. She said. Clue, hope your hand is oh, yeah, you it hurting. No, well. It's not hurting. It's not hurting too bad, but I will say this. Thank you guys. Uh, I Like I say, I'm not too bad without makeup. So, you know what I mean? Not one of those things that you take home and you wake up going, what the hell did I just sleep with? It kind of looks the same. But anyway, so y'all know our dog has been pregnant. The female, obviously. I don't know why I have to clarify that, but <laughs> it's 2024. Who knows? <laughs> So, she's been pregnant. Well, she hasn't been able to hold her bladder, okay? So, I got off the live I did, the one before the last one, because I did do one with my left hand. That was fun. And she had peed in the kitchen floor, which is on my way to the bathroom in the kitchen, or off the kitchen. So, I was going to the bathroom. My right foot slid in the pee. I'm on the damn phone, of course, because God knows I can't do anything without being on the phone or something these days. So, I'm on the phone. It's in my right hand, and I go down. And I got this, like, kind of grippy phone case. Well, my ring finger jammed all the way back. It hit the back of my hand. I broke it in two places at the bottom of my hand dislocated my knuckle they reset that at the hospital and i also cracked it cracked the like joint under my knuckle so we go this morning to the doctor they told me at the hospital on monday wednesday i would be getting my cast right they would allow it to swell so we get there this morning we pay 45 dollars for a copay get there and we're sitting there and this dude comes in and he's like so she's in a meeting right now and i'm like what is this like an emergency meeting it, was it scheduled and you still scheduled my appointment like what are we doing here so i had to wait for the damn doctor and then the bitch never came in swear to god we waited for like over an hour and then her little minion comes in again and says so she's not comfortable doing this surgery so we're gonna send you to another hand surgeon and she said she hurt her finger the exact same finger cleaning her carpets so apparently i have to have surgery on my hand they did not take me out of this uncomfortable ass contraption i'm so aggravated i'm trying to be like 
Wusa, it's okay, but I'm not a person who doesn't like to be able to do what I want to do. You know what I mean? Uh, like, poor fiance is like, <laughs> he's going through it, y'all. Like, he really is. It's so bad. I'm just like, sit the fuck down somewhere and chill. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I want to get up. I want to do my own shit. I want to, like, feed myself. I can't even wipe my ass right now, okay? It's that bad. I'm not in pain. I keep taking this um, Advil dual action or whatever. It's something somebody suggested to me and it actually helps a lot. But I can tell you if I don't hear from this hand surgeon tomorrow, I'm calling another ortho place to get a second opinion. Because what they want to do is take my finger, the one that I dislocated and broke, they want to take that and put a wire <laughs> through it and I guess wired the two pieces together and then sew me up and just leave something like this on which is misery because this thing is so hot I can't imagine a cast feels worse than this thing it does oh well then let me stop bitching because I'll keep this on <laughs> That's I, flexible. A cast isn't. What's like? Yeah, I just had to go see them. They were again. I'll. I know you probably weren't in here in the beginning. They were gonna put a cast on it, but the dude didn't know how to do that, so they put me back in this shit. Made me a new little cupper thing or that hard piece of shit, whatever it is. Rewrapped it. I got to go see the surgeon and make sure she don't want to cut on me. And if not, then I just have to wait it out for it to heal. But I can sort of bend my ring finger, so. Ella Blue, welcome to the Clue Crew. Huh, look, y'all, and they got rid of my Betty. Ain't that some bullshit? She meant on Chris Proudfoot, but yeah. What makes you think he's still going to be missing in August, Betty? It's a good question. I fell and dislocated my middle finger full traction anatomical splint and was good to go medics just like going to well that's the problem is if it was just my finger I totally would just put two wooden sticks on this bitch with some medical tape but I broke two bones like splintered them in the bottom of my hand so whatever so wait, is all that sorry. big girl talk all that big girl talk about her coming back here and she wasn't done and no one could run her away and all of that was just hot air and a that balloon bitch ain't on a scary. Sunday afternoon. She ain't scary in the fucking least. She is not scary in the yeah. motherfucking least. She ain't nothing but hot fucking air. Yep. Hey, I broke my huh. finger so she could have those puppies. I'm just saying. No, you broke your finger because you're clumsy and you fell on her piss. That's first your fault. off. First off, I'm the least clumsy person in the entire world. I I was on the phone. I disagree. Listen, I've been with fiance for eight years. He has seen me fall one time. So I woke up and we had to be up early as shit because for some reason this ortho person wanted to see me at eight twenty in the morning. So we go to the ortho please well while we're in the waiting room someone i'm sorry i just looked at the comment somebody said this like soul plane <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funny that's probably true but somebody sent me a text message and for granny's watching right my eyes are watering like hell i don't know what the fuck's wrong with me right now but it's like every time i look at this screen but i noticed it didn't do it yesterday while i was looking at this damn phone so that might be the preferred method to go. We were going to sit outside today, but of course, fiance had to go out there and get stung three times by waspers. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck that. I'm good. So anyway, someone sent me a text message for Granny's watching and we obviously went to it. We're in the waiting room, so we couldn't like listen, listen, but <clears throat> we saw that that asshole smoke was on panel. And so we're listening, we're listening, we're listening. And I'm like, why is anybody even giving him a platform? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? Those of you who are new or whatever don't know, Smoke is the person who docks me, right? Well, 
I'm just going to let y'all hear what happened. And I prayed to God. I was sitting there like, Lord, I'm already fed up this morning. And you got me fucked up. If you think that they are going to end this lie before I get out this office and get to tell this motherfucker something about himself. And of course, ask and you shall receive. Baby, can you help me? I'll be so ready when this shit is healed. Hold on. I just need you to push it back. Put, pull your index finger out. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at this ugly ass shit. What I look like. So, it basically says, let me move my mouse over. I'm just going to let y'all marinate on that for a second while I put this back on because my hands starting to hurt. Ow. Mm. Good morning. Whoo, y'all. I so... Lord Jesus, I have officially made it to celebrity status. I could I could say this weekend there were more videos about me than there were any other any other subject in true crime. So thank y'all for that. I tried to tell y'all it's some dirty ass shit going on behind these scenes in this case. Shit again. What? <laughs> what she was just <laughs> It's like I'm taking a fucking big ass bitch. <laughs> oh anyway. fuck, that's funny. I can't bend my finger, y'all, so I'm not even supposed to be out of my thing right now, but I can't use my mouth with my left hand. I'm not, I am not abidextrous. Fiance and I went to the doctor. It turned out I wasn't actually scheduled for an appointment, and it was a different doctor, right, since they made me go to the surgeon, that surgeon took over, whatever, what have you. So... On everything, y'all. There was an entire four-piece supreme dinner from Bojangles that was just strewn across the side of the road. <laughs> what in the actual hell happened? Is this some sort of lover's quarrel? Is this some sort of parenting and they're mad at their kids and it went too far. And I'm talking about even the little lonely cup of honey mustard that is so coveted because nobody does it as good as Bojangles. Y'all, this is a fucking crime. And I'm telling you, nothing ever happens here until poor Sebastian. Now I'm thinking that I live in a serious, serious bad place. I'm not kidding. A whole four piece Supreme dinner, four little tender, chicken tenders just chilling on the side of the road like why did you boot me out of that air-conditioned vehicle was there not enough it's that fucking crime syndicate sumner county crime syndicate maybe <laughs> maybe was there not enough seasoning on the fries like what are we doing bro that is a four piece and the biscuit the biscuit done broke in half it must have been dry but what the hell can make a person do that i got to know like, like I said, I compare her to Betty now. Like, she literally reminds me of Betty. I know, with like the mukbangs. I don't know if she eats on camera. I mean, I don't know. She does a lot on camera that I don't, I, I don't care to see. <laughs> right. So, yes, we will be staying away from, you know, your, your little area of YouTube. We won't be back. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. We're snowflakes, so. We are snowflakes, so we're going to stay on the North Pole side of things. Okay. She's a Betty, but she's like, I, I don't even know. I can't. Like, if I say she's worse or she's not as bad, like, I feel like I'll regret it in a day or so. So I'm just going to leave <laughs> it over there. I'm just going to say they're equal. They're their equal, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just like, come on, lady. You need a life. Maybe she should get, get a job application at Bojangles since she likes to eat there so much. Keep herself busy. I'm not one of these people out here on this YouTube street that is out here in need of money. I don't want fame. I don't want fortune. I don't need fucking money. Like I say all the time, I have the fucking life of a goddamn princess and I'm not getting ready to fuck it up worrying about what the fuck y'all are doing. Let the motherfuckers hate.